Now it's time for my favorite part of this show, uh, hosted by one of the finest automotive service shops in the country. Here with us today uh, for our call in and ask the expert mechanics corner is Steve Bartley with Reno Rensport. Uh, get your pen ready to take down this number. Or if you have been waiting to call in, uh, call Steve now at 823-1920, 823-1920. Um, he's here to take your calls for the next 10 minutes. Uh, uh, you know, anything you have on your mind, automotive. Now, Steve, I'm so honored to have you in the studio uh, today, again, fulfilling on our commitment to the community to educate consumers one car buyer at a time. Every quality business, in order to attain the outstanding reputation that Reno Rensport maintains, is certain to have working in it at the best employees in its respective industry. Now, I've uh, worked with you, and I know just how deep your passion, or, or should I call it a love affair, of the automobile runs. And uh, we worked together for several years. Uh, many people have been waiting to find out where you landed and will be thrilled to reconnect with you. And you have a long history in the industry as well as in Reno and just recently moved to Reno Rensport. Can you give us some background on at what point in your life you found out this was your calling? And uh, if we have any young listeners, how do they get started? Yeah, Mitch, thanks for having me on. Um, Basically, I started tinkering around when I was a young kid, uh, eight, nine years old, uh, mini bikes, things like that. And I have always had it as kind of a hobby. Um, I didn't really start professionally until about 20 years ago. Um, actually started for Bob Peters, uh, Bob's Motor Works over in Sparks, and uh, moved over to a, a uh, independent Porsche repair shop that was on Wells Avenue. And later moved down to South Meadows. Uh, I was there for about 15, 16 years. And the opportunity came up to move over to Reno Rensport. And uh, just moved over there in January. And uh, looking forward to helping them out. Well, we've been talking a lot today about the um, inspection process and, uh, you know, especially getting an opportunity to really thoroughly inspect a car in daylight hours yourself first. And then before you buy it, um, you know, doing a pre-purchase inspection and why should somebody come to you to perform one before they buy and, and approximately what does that run? Well, um, it, it usually entails about an hour. Uh, it, 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 uh, gives the buyer of the car a chance to, to really know, you know, if there's going to be problems in the future. Uh, we, we put the car up in the air, look underneath, we look at all the uh, maintenance items to make sure they've been done properly and in a timely manner. And, you know, it benefits you to know this information before you buy the car so that you can use that, you know, information to your advantage in the deal. Well, we had talked uh, before about that and, you know, not just to your advantage, but if you know it's going to cost so many dollars to uh, recondition that car to a, a proper standard, well, certainly you don't want to pay uh, too much for it and then spend that money doing that. And we were talking about the fact uh, the other day when I was in your shop that, uh, you know, so often people buy the car and then bring it to you to, you know, have you go through it for them. And, and, and it's not always a pleasant experience when they find out what they actually bought. Uh, so definitely you'll want to uh, have those types of inspections done before you buy. And, you know, what should they do if a seller or a dealer objects to that kind of an inspection? Well, you know, I, I think that that's kind of a red flag. Uh, it, there must be some reason why they don't want somebody to look at it. And uh, I, I would be kind of wary if they didn't let. Uh, and, and a lot of times they will let you um, go ahead and have an independent uh uh, inspection of the car, uh, you know. Thank and, you for saying that because there are some reputable uh, businesses out there that, you know, feel like uh, if you do that, it just gives them credibility that you're going to find out that they actually have a legitimate car. And so they should be not just willing, but they should be excited about that. If they're really like, oh, that's fantastic, uh, you definitely take it and have that done. Well, that's probably a good indication uh, right there that uh, they're, you know, one of those uh, businesses worth your support, but definitely still take it anyway. You know, if they're not willing to let you take it, it, it it's an indication, like Steve said, I think it's a red flag that you should, uh, to, you know, just stop right there and just walk out. Uh, if they won't let you, it's typically there's a reason for it. They don't want you to know the truth um, or uh, they're hiding from something. Uh, any reputable seller or a reputable business uh, will give you the opportunity to make that inspection and if they've uh, reconditioned their vehicle to proper standard are not afraid of it. Now, 
you do uh, these inspections for for folks uh, pre purchase inspections. We, we call them, and and I know that you said typically they start at about an hour, and and you can do even deeper. Um, inspections. You can do compression tests and leak downs and, right. you know, whatever level of inspection that you want, depending on the age of the type of the vehicle, um, they, they can do it at Reno Rentspart. What makes do you offer those inspections for? Well, we do Porsches, BMWs, and Mini Coopers. Um, it's a good idea to use a, a shop that handles the make of the car you're looking at. Um, I, I handle German cars. Um, I That's my expertise. I really would, I couldn't tell you, you know, exactly on like Fords and Chevys and Dodges, but there's, there's places out there where you can take them. It, uh, you know, if you have a real, uh, if you're comfortable with a, a local mechanic, you've been using him for years or something, uh, and, and he's familiar with that car, then that's the guy you should use. You should seek out somebody that has some expertise with the make that you're dealing with. You know, in our video series, we offer both mechanical and uh, cosmetic inspection processes, and those are available on the carbuyeradvisor.com on our website, uh, where you can download a video, and we take you through that inspection process that I used as a dealer that bought cars and took cars in on trade and bought them at auctions. And you, you basically, those... Uh, what we want you to be able to do is to freely go out and, and do that preliminary inspection yourself. And then when you get down and you've settled on something that really stands out as the car that you want, that's when you take it to um, a shop and have it inspected. And, uh, the, and you're absolutely right, Steve. Having somebody that's really knowledgeable at that car is very important. Uh, because we're national, we do recommend uh, in most cases that you would go to a dealer. In this case, uh, Reno Rensport is the absolute uh, uh, best specialist for those vehicles in this community. That's why they're hosting this segment of our show, and we recommend you take it to them uh, whenever possible on those makes. Um, you know, everybody's got a little personal specialty uh, that is their passion. There's something that, you know, really hooked you into this industry. You know, like we were talking about earlier, what kind of got you started and where your roots were. But there's something that happened that got, got your uh, got you excited about being in this industry, to be in it this long, and to, to have become as masterful at your skill as you are. What it is that you're passionate about, what your specialty is, your real love. Like if you had your choice of picking one thing that you would work on all day if you were given the opportunity, what would that be? Well, it'd have to be Porsches. I, I've... I think I saw my first Porsche when I was about 10 or 11 years old, uh, delivering newspapers in the morning, and this guy had a 914 brand new in his driveway, and I just, I couldn't believe it. I had never seen a car like that. Um, now I'm dating myself. I mean, you know, this was a long time ago, but I, I, I just, I think something clicked, and uh, those were the cars that appealed to me the most. They're a little quirky, the engine's in the rear. Um, one of the best handling you know, cars ever built. Yes, I mean, to- sporty, um, performance, uh, lightweight, uh, responsive, things that American cars at the time, I mean, 1970, were muscle cars. And uh, muscle cars are fine in a straight line, but you go to go into a corner and the Porsches are just chewing them up. Well, so, you know, I've I've seen there have been a lot of people in the last uh, you know half a dozen years that have taken those and then just modified them for racing. I mean, upgraded the suspensions, put high horsepower motors in them, and uh, are were dominating for quite a while the the uh, race uh, circuit. They, uh, as far as endurance racing, I don't think there's ever been a car company that has had a better record than Porsche, and they took on they took on. Big companies like Ford and, and uh, the Ferraris back in the 60s, they had epic battles, and, and Porsche would outdo them just because of their uh, lightweight, uh, didn't need a lot of horsepower, but the handling package was, was so much better. Well, and some of the today's Porsches, uh, you know, I've, I've uh, driven them, and uh, so have you, are uh, capable of doing zero to 100 back to zero and uh, this side of 11 seconds. They, they can be pretty impressive. It, it's <laughs> mind-ripping fast. Yes. Uh, and, and, you know, it's just the way they deliver it, though, today is uh, extraordinary, the, the level of... Uh, the, the car stays flat, and it's just you're there, and, and it seems so effortless. It's, it's almost mind-boggling how that's, they can deliver the, that power. That's uh, the wonderfulness of modern technology. We use computers now uh, a lot of times to control traction and uh, uh, shock absorbers and things like that, and it really makes a huge difference on the handling of the car. Well, today's cars, today's Porsches, can actually you know correct for driver error input. I mean, correct. I, yeah. I understand they can add throttle or add brake when the driver fails to do so and would otherwise lose control of the vehicle. And 
Right. If you're if you if you're doing something a little crazy with the car and the car doesn't like it, the car can correct it. Um, there's also the ability to turn those systems off for the more daring driver. But uh, a lot of times when you're driving a hundred and ten thousand dollar car, it's not recommended. Maybe leave those on for a little while. Well, they're there for a reason, and, and they've actually had tests with those that they've outperformed the uh, you know even professional race car driver in uh, in, in slalom races. Um, you know, the Reno Rensport, um, uh, when you do even your routine maintenance and, and scheduled services, uh, the, you, you do more than just do that. Uh, you also do some of these inspections that we're talking about during that, don't you? Yeah. We've, we, even if it comes in for an oil service, basically we're changing your oil and filter, we're still going to take the time to look at the car. We're going to check the brake pad thickness, the conditions of the rotors, uh, your <clears throat> um, radiator hoses, uh, any fuel lines, things like that. We're, we're, we're always going to give it a little extra time and sort of just for your knowledge to let you know how things are going with your car. And then if there's any kind of an issue, any kind of leak or something we might want to tell you about. Uh, you know, we were talking about some of these technologies, and, and I think that really should drive home the point as to what we're talking about as far as having the right shop work on your cars and the technologies today are, it really takes a, an incredible dedication to uh, to develop and understand and have a working knowledge in how to repair these cars today. And in, in, in Reno Rennsport in German, it, it's, it means racing, uh, but w- you don't have to speak a foreign tongue at Reno Rennsport. They definitely speak your language. You, you want to, if you have a Porsche, a BMW, or a Mini, uh, again, the car buyer advisor is committed to connecting you with the best and the finest industry uh, uh, businesses in the automotive industry in our community, and they are that standard. They set it for the rest of the industry. Their technicians and Steve, uh, uh, as long as well as all of the technicians in their uh, service department, are extraordinarily uh, masterful and and they have years and years worth of experience with these vehicles. And it's a passion. They know them like the back of their hand, like. Uh, other people just can't even wrap their brain around. Steve, I want to thank you definitely for coming in today and getting uh, to get in touch with Steve or to make an appointment for an inspection, routine service, or repair. You can call 331-4366. Once again, it's 331-4366. If you want to get further information, you can email them at info at, you know, That's two N's in Rensport.